We see joint tenants a lot. Okay. Um, but if it's going to be um, that scenario that you just explained, where it's more like this is an investment property for us, the other choice is tenants in common. So mm -hmm. tenants in common, there's no right or survivorship. There's a percentage. So you would own 50% or maybe even 60%, and I would you know, have the remainder percentage. Um, sometimes it's 50-50, sometimes it's 90-10, sometimes it can be different vesting. You can choose that when you um, do your vesting. Based and, on maybe how much you've put into the deal. Correct, mm -hmm. correct. So in that case, the portion that you have can go into your trust um, or into for your children if something were to happen to you. Um, and you can do what you want with that. But with that said, um, if you don't have a trust, it, you know, in place and something were to happen to you, that part would have to be probated. So mm -hmm. there are some, you know, pluses and minus with that. And, and what about community property? You know, here in California, we're a community property state. We absolutely are a community property state and that is the best vesting for a married couple is community property and it is community property with right of survivorship. So it works the same as joint tenants, but it is for married couples only. Awesome. That's great. I, th I hope that helps. Uh, there are other options as well, but those are the most common and gives you a little bit of background and understanding of when they apply and what they can be used for.